So today we're going to talk about my entire ocarina collection and what my favorite kind of cookie is. That's coming up. Hey everyone, I'm David. Today I got a haircut and welcome to another episode of Ock Talk Mailbag, which I would really like your guys' opinions about this because I want a different name for this video series. Something that uh, we could do like a hashtag for if I wanted to search for a question that you guys send me via Twitter or Facebook or, or just something that I could easily punch in on the social network and find. So um, leave a comment below to let me know what you think we could call this video series, something like David's Mailbag or hashtag Mailbag Thursday. Uh, leave a comment below to let me know what that is. Let's get to your letters, which uh, I'm excited to read as always. So once again, we're kind of reading back uh, Kept trying to catch up with all the letters you guys have sent me, and these are actually from March and April. So my apologies for taking so long to read these. But my first letter is from Teresa uh, from Canada, which I think it's it's nice. It might be nice, N-I-C-E, Canada. And uh, Teresa sent me a Christmas card in March, which she kind of points out in the card. She said, hi, David. Ignore, ignore that. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Unless you're one of those people who celebrate Christmas year-round. I ran out of normal stationery. So, that was her little aside. Anyway, just wanted to say thanks for all the tutorials slash performances slash general info about ocarinas you put up that, that have been so helpful. You do a lot for your fans, subscribers, and fellow players, and it is, a mu it is much appreciated. I know you get asked for stuff a lot, and I do have one question. What kind of cookies, treats, anything do you really like? I'll send some your way. Thanks again. Take care, Teresa. Teresa, thank you very much for the Christmas card. My favorite treat, oh gosh, I have a couple, so indulge me. My absolute favorite cookie is probably chocolate chip, but more specifically, chocolate chip, wait, is it chocolate chip? Yeah, chocolate chip cookies, just general chocolate chip cookies. And uh, what's funny is that I actually kind of got tired of eating cake in my house because we have nine people living under my family's roof and uh with nine nine birthdays throughout the year kind of spread out um it's just a lot of cake so every year now i ask my sisters to make me cookies when i go home and it's around my birthday time so when they when they want to make me something for my birthday um i ask for chocolate chip cookies so that's always that's always really cool and then i also love that cookies are portable too like you can't like if you're on the run, put a piece of cake inside a backpack and, and go somewhere. Um, not a, on a run, literally, because that'd be, that'd be really messy. But, you know, you put the chocolate chip cookies in a plastic bag and then just take them wherever you want. You can share them, and it's just it just seems like a, a much better choice, I guess, uh, when it comes to portability and treats. And I love things that are portable. And then I love brownies. And those are probably my top two. And I'm probably wrong. But, yeah. M&Ms are cool too. Thank you, Teresa, very much for that. And if you if you find out that I read, finally read your letter, thank you in advance for sending me anything. Next, we have a letter from the Hero of Time, which it actually says, you're not gonna be able to read it, but it actually says the Hero of Time. And then uh, there's some graphics here that says, I'm the best ocarinist, ocarinist not Doc Jazz for me, and it's Link. Running around, chasing after, I guess that's me. This letter reads, Hello David, my name is Nolan, and backing up to 2008, or sometime around then, my big brother discovered you. I was insanely dazzled from your ocarina playing. Eventually, I made an account on YouTube strictly to subscribe to you. Then I forgot that account, and later, you too. Sorry. Aw. Oh. <laughs> then in 2010, I discovered you again, then forgot again. Then about a week ago, I plopped on down and looked you up again. I was amazed how much you, you improved, so I subscribed. I promise I won't forget anymore. I don't know if you read that, but I love that he's got question time. Number one, can you make another video of your collection? It increased since then, right? Uh, yeah, let me just go through a couple questions. So uh, yes, it has very much decreased since my last um, video, which I believe was my fifth YouTube anniversary. No, second YouTube anniversary? It's like 2009, 2008, I believe. I mentioned last week that I'm going to be moving next week. And so all these ocarinas are going to come down. And I'm going to, uh, once I move to my new place, I'm going to lay them out on the floor. 
and finally do an update uh, video before I have to hang them up all up again. So it's a really good opportunity to just kind of lay them all out, organize them, and talk about the different ocarinas that have been added to my collection. I might not recap the ocarinas that are featured in my last video. It'll probably just be the newer ocarinas that I've gotten over the years, and I'll get a final tally about how many ocarinas I own because I have no idea the actual number of ocarinas I own. I will say it's over 100, which is pro still probably true, but um, yeah, we'll all, we'll all find out. Two, what's your favorite color? Mine is purple. My favorite color is definitely blue, as you can see. Uh, you'll usually find me wearing some sort of blue article of clothing in real life. When I went to Los Angeles for Anime Expo uh, two years ago, I had this blue jacket, uh, and I actually wore it in a couple videos, like Ballad of the Windfish. And um, that jacket I had for like four years, and it was one of my favorite articles of clothing ever. And my dad bought it for me, and um, I just I, I wore that thing constantly every winter for a, for a couple years. And then I lost it in Los Angeles, and I was really sad. And so this year I'm gonna replace it with another blue jacket. Uh, what? My cat is. Agreeing with me. But anyway, yes, blue is my favorite color. Sorry, I didn't mean to rant there. Favorite ocarina that you own? I brought this up uh, last time. He comments the muse is beautiful. I really like the Rotter right now. Um, and I have a special announcement about my next favorite ocarina coming up very soon. Teaser. Number four, have you ever used a Crown Royal Whistler bag as an ocarina holder? If not, I'll send you one. Are those those, are, are those, those purple bags um, with like the gold lining? If it is, I have one, but I haven't used one for an ocarina. But if they're not expensive and you, they're readily available to you, I would love to see one. And then you added, bam, Phantom Hourglass for free, which when I opened this, I was flabbergasted. But you sent me, yes, the Phantom Hourglass for the DS for free. And uh, first of all, thank you. I have not played this game, so I'm really excited about that. I will play through this because I've heard good things about it. So. Thank you very much. That was very kind of you, Nolan. And thank you for your questions. Finally, we have a letter from Lily, which I thought this was very nice. Uh, stationery in the back. Songbird would love this. Which, if you could, if you could let me know in the comments if you find out that I read your letter, um, what's your, where you got that? I would like to tell him, because yeah, he's crazy about birds and songs. <laughs> Dear David, A.K.A. Doc Jazz, A.K.A. That Awesome Ocarina Guy. Thank you. You're to blame for my first ocarina. I'm sorry? I don't even know how I came across ocarinas. There's this blank spot in my brain. For some reason, I was looking at Songbird ocarinas. The little wing was super pretty, but the sound sample was broken. Off to YouTube. The first vid that came up was you playing Fluttershy's Lullaby. That right there sealed the deal on my need for an ocarina. Yes, I'm a brony, or whatever you call a female My Little Pony fan. That's a really good point that I actually brought up with my brother because he's a brony and bronies are boys and I forgot what, he's going to be mad at me for forgetting this, but what you call female My Little Pony fan. If I remember or ask him after I make this video, it's going to pop up right here. For a while now, I've been looking for a relatively easy instrument to play, something that sounds beautiful without an unholy amount of effort. Starting in fifth grade, I've played the violin off and on for like 10 years. It's a beautiful instrument and a challenge to play. Guitar players are lazy. They get for us to follow. Yes, I know you play guitar. Yeah, I probably am kind of lazy. During middle and high school and band, I played the cello, the cello steel drum. Cello and steel drum. Yeah, we didn't have normal instruments. Oh wait, it is actually the cello steel drum. Steel pans are relatively idiot friendly, or at least the ones at school were. While awesome, I never really wanted to own one. I'm really hoping the ocarina is what I've been looking for. The easy portability of the ocarina is appealing. Obviously, I like the sound too. And yeah, going back to why I like cookies, I love things that are portable. In fact, that's why... Cat, stop that. My cat's eating my shoelaces. That's why I love the ukulele, because I, I like to travel with instruments when I can, and the guitar is just like super awkward to travel with, but the, the, the ukulele is, is really easy. And I recently got the soprano ukulele from Songbird, and I, I really like it. Uh, a lot of you guys know I have the tenor ukulele, uh, which is a kala, and that sound is beautiful, um, but it's kind of big even for ukulele standards. And so I, I'm, I love having a soprano now, and I've always wanted a soprano too. And so this is probably gonna go with me a lot of places. And I like that it, I can like stick it in my backpack too. 
So if you would like to find another instrument, if the ocarina isn't for you, that you would like because it's portable, I would highly recommend checking out the ukulele. Um, the Little Wing might not be the best ocarina for me, but well, I figured that out after I ordered it. Uh, I'm a little sensitive to higher pitches, so we'll see. It's the ocarina I have, so dang it, I'm going to learn how to play it. Neighbors and housemates be doomed. <laughs> Your vids have been super, a super awesome resource. I cannot stress that enough. Cool, thanks. Personally speaking, I could really use a bit about breath control. Violin and steel pen weren't wind instruments. Truthfully, I'm bad at anything involving breath control, which didn't come to mind when I said, I want to try the ocarina. Anyway, I can't be the only person who could use help, so if you wanted to do a video about that, it would be awesome. There's got to be some secrets to these wind instruments. I actually kind of have a video about this, and um, it's it's about learning how to breathe properly for the ocarina. Oh, using vibrato. And so I, uh, I talk about how to use your breath a little bit, and then I also talk about how to use your breath in my reaching the high notes for your ocarina video as well. So I'll put a link to both of those in the description below and you can check those out. She also added, David, I absolutely adore your smile. It's cute slash adorable. When you smile, I want to kidnap you and snuggle you to death. Creeper eyebrow wiggling. <laughs> Cheers, Lily. Thank you for your compliment. Thank you very much for your letter. And um, yeah, hopefully you got a, a, a hang of the little wing because it is a really pretty instrument. I love it. And, um, and that was a really nice song to play, too. This is pretty stationary, too. I like it. I just want to end this uh, with a letter that I should have opened early this year. When is this from? Actually, yeah. My buddy Caleb sent me this in December. But uh, he, he wrote a... It was about um, an event that we were going to do back in South Dakota, um, where he's from. But that event get, ended up getting canceled. So I told him I wasn't going to read the letter on the air, but he did send me a picture of his dog, Murphy, and Murphy is adorable. So shout out to Murphy. Thank you, Caleb. <laughs> if you guys would like to send me some stuff in the mail, uh, the address will show up in the description below and at the end of this video. I always love reading your letters and seeing what you guys are sending me in packages and letters and stuff so um yeah thank you so much for watching check out some other links like i mentioned in the description below thank you guys so much have a great weekend and i will see you guys next week and replace it with another blue jacket um uh, what my cat is agreeing with me